Good evening again, Steve here. Somebody asked me a couple of days ago what it is that I do, and I often don't know how to answer that question because I do so many different things. But if I really drill down, I sometimes like to say that I'm a healthcare practitioner because I care for my health and hopefully the health the health of others, and that's my I do the practice of that right over and over and over again. And one thing that's pretty obvious to most people now is, of course, physical health, you know, and our bodies are, if I remember correctly, high 70s to 80% water, if I remember correctly, and therefore, you know, if you weigh 100 pounds, you're upwards of 80 pounds water, right? And that water is constantly being given off. It's given off through breath. It's given off through processes. It's given off through sweat. Even if we don't feel physical moisture, there's a breathing of sweat going on, humidity coming off. And especially when it's warm. I mean, here where I live in the last few weeks, it's been high 20s, upwards into the low to mid 30s Celsius. Pretty often. Not very humid, but nevertheless, the body's going to sweat more and be stressed more because of that. So the idea is to make sure we're hydrated. And of course the best way to make sure we're hydrated is to drink water, right? I remember years ago when I didn't drink as much water as I do now, at first water felt kind of, or tasted kind of, well, tasted tasteless because I was used to more sugary stuff. But then as time went by and just the practice of it always having water with me, that's the key. I got in the practice probably 20 years ago, more than 20 years ago, of always carrying water with me, winter and summer. Just a bottle. Whenever I go, go out the door, I make sure I have a full bottle of water, put it in my truck, or if I'm riding my bike, put it in my bike, if I'm walking somewhere, I carry it with me. And so I have bottles everywhere. That's that's another solution, too, is, you know, my, my family, they buy sometimes water bottles, or they buy pop bottles bottles of pop. I don't drink any pop. The odd time I'll take a sip of it, but but they make great water bottles, you know. Uh, so I'm, I've always, and they, re they have a recycle bin, so I take them out of the recycle bin, rinse them out, and I know at work I have several bottles all over the place, and I got several bottles in the truck, and I got, I got a couple of bottles sitting here on my, on my dresser, and I've got a bottle beside my computer, and a cup, it's it's just just a habit of hydrating, constantly hydrating. And um, I find too in the morning that that's really all I drink, all I consume first thing in the morning is a little bit of slightly warm water, not hot water, but slightly warm water. It seems to get everything go everything moving in the morning. I find that eating a breakfast, maybe a, a piece of fruit or something, but eating anything heavy just slows me down. So I usually find that I've, you know the body is has restored its energy throughout the sleeping process and through the meals of the day and the evening meal. That in the morning I'm just not hungry. But I would I would really notice it if I'm missing my, my water. So, you know, most of this is, is obvious to most people. I see so many people now with water bottles, but the other day I was talking to a guy at work and he was telling me that his wife never drinks water never drinks water. She, and, and the reason she doesn't drink water, he said, is because she's afraid of... Somebody told her this, there could be fish eggs in the water. <laughs> I said, come on, how many filters are from there, from the river to, you know, the tap? And, and besides, I said, what do you think... That, you know, cause, cause I asked him, what does she drink then? Well, she drinks pop or soda, depending on where you're from. And, and I asked him, I said, well, what do you think soda or pop is made of, right? It's made of water, so... But he said, oh, that the flavor of the, the, the sugars and everything take the, the fish taste out. I don't know. I've never tasted fish in the water. Uh, I do sometimes taste, in certain places, chlorine. I find where I live now, there's they must not use very much chlorine because I, I just don't taste it at all. And perhaps, you know, some people are going to make the point here probably that it should be maybe purified water or... Um, some other type of water, some, you know, more of a natural spring water or something. But, you know, my, my take on that is a little bit along the lines of the whole organic food drive. 
you know, I'd rather eat um, potatoes that were farmed by a guy who used herbicides than to eat organic potato chips. You know what I mean? Because that's more modified. I would rather drink, you know, the place that I live here, I'd rather drink water from the tap than to drink, you know, soda pop that was made of, you know, natural spring water. It's it's kind of a payoff, right? Uh, what's available, you know? If I'm thirsty and I'm going to drink what I what water I the best water I can get. But it's important, I think, is to is to hydrate. I mean, just just think of the logic of how much um, how much water is in our body, and of all the things to drink, water is what replenishes the water the best. Seems like it anyway. Certain things that we drink can actually cause us to to dehydrate, and of course, if we drink lots of coffee, that's a stimulant, and especially if we put lots of sugar in it and lots of milk and cream in it, and now it's fat and it's high glycemic and it messes us up. So, if we could somehow wean ourselves off of a lot of that coffee drinking, and beer drinking and wine drinking and soda pop drinking and go more and more to water drinking. It's not as profitable for those who are in their business of serving coffees and so on. But if our health means something, I think it's something to consider big time. One other thing too is a couple of years ago somebody was talking to me about how she felt she had to go to the she had to go to the bathroom all the time. She had to pee all the time because she was drinking like eight big glasses of water in a period of time or whatever. And I asked her, what the heck are you doing that for? And she said, well, it's because, and it was in the winter, I think, so it was cold weather, right? And she said, well, that's, I read that somewhere. And I said, well, what does your body tell you? You know, are you thirsty? You know, it's, I, I find that my water consumption, of course, varies depending on the time of year. I mean, when it's, minus 30 here, I don't drink nearly as much water. But when it's plus 30, yeah, I drink bottle after bottle of water. That's just pretty common sense, eh? But anyway, any comments on it, on your experience of water or the nonsense that I'm talking about? Comments on that? I know I just did a video and it was full of comments, which is great. Uh, lots of thumbs downs, which is great too, because at least people are doing something. Prefer the thumbs up, mind you, but <laughs> thumbs down are fine too. Steve, again, great chatting. Talk again soon. Goodbye for now.